Action. Gary has stroke. So we got this table, brown black table, in our hallway, hallway, uh, where we lived. Somebody was moving and they were sale. getting rid of it, so we snatched it from them. Totally legal. Totally legal. I just taped it up to protect this part. Um, and we're gonna use this distinctive, is yeah. that what it's called? Distinctive concrete concept. It's there. Basically it's for floors, but we're gonna use it for art. They've never used it for art, so we are. They sent it to us to experiment with, and we are extremely grateful for that. Um, we've used it on this piece, which we love. It has such a different reaction to acrylic paint, and uh, they gave us this powder as well. They sent us some, some uh, metallic pigment you can kind of see it. I don't have the flash on, but that blue down there is what, what is theirs. Um, but as you can see, it just looks amazing with acrylic paint. It almost doesn't look real. And you can see these three reflections. That's those lights. Very and you can see, except for where there we put Glitter. Glitter. That's right there. It's bumpy. But everywhere else, super smooth. I'm so digging this blue that they sent us. So we're going to do that to this. And now I know what I want to do. I want to do the splash one. No. Because it's super thin. You'll see the video. <clears throat> the video. Uh, it'll be. Where's it at? It'll be right here. Doink, doink, doink. Of uh, the making of that piece that we just showed you. All right, you guys. Begin. So to start out, we're gonna have to sand it down because it's super slippery. Very slippery. And we don't know what's on this. So there could be other stuff on here. Bodily fluids, ketchup, gum, whack. Just kidding. I got the look. Um, this is just a- uh, Precautionary measure. No, this is a uh, 220. Mm. The grid's 220. Are you going to go over it with a 400 as well? No, I don't need to. That'll be, that would just smooth it back out, probably. Gotcha. So, sanding it is going to create a tooth for the resin to adhere to. If you use a bonding primer and don't have sandpaper, then you'll probably be fine. But this just ensures that the resin won't peel up. We like to be extra thorough, especially when it's for something that someone's going to put in their home, something that we sell to somebody. And this will be for sale, kids. This is for fun. And for sale. Well, it's really bad weather here, and we're supposed to be doing that. Did you show them the weather? I haven't. Working on this piece. Uh, we're supposed to be doing what? We're supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be the doing club. the white and gold club Countertop. counters. We have it all primed and everything, ready to go. But it is absolutely crappy outside. It is 33 degrees. As you can see, we have our place, the heat kicking because resin. So the condensation is so real. Real. I'm 
It's really real, people. We're gonna do another coat on this. This is that Maui, I don't know if you can see. It is not as beautiful as in person. You need to turn your um, that flash on. That did fun stuff. So after you sand it down, wipe it off with, we use um, a 91% isopropyl alcohol. You can just get it at CVS, like $4 for a bottle, or you can buy it in bulk. It doesn't take much. You just want to make sure you get the dust off as well as remove, um, I don't know, any sticky that may have been on there, the alcohol will take with it. So when you sand and when you use alcohol, wear gloves because the sandpaper will eat your fingertips up. I learned that the hard way the other day. And <coughs> the alcohol will dry your skin out lots. Are you doing paint selection? What are you working with? What you got? Oh, that's the same. Yeah. Love it. We're going to get some inks. Oh, yeah. I want to use the ink. Which ink? I want to use a, like a deep blue. There, there we go. Deep bright. <coughs> <coughs> This is blue aqua. <coughs> you want to use that? Yes, I want to use Maui. Well, we can mix Maui into paint, right? Or you just want to mix it into resin? <coughs> yeah, I think that color you just pulled will do what the other one did. Isn't that almost this? No. You know what a fine color is. I don't know where it's at. So, never mind. Oh. Look at that. I wonder if this would color shift in the paint. I mean, in resin. It may be too thin of a resin for this kind of paint, actually. Here's half the resin that we're using. We bought out every store in our area. I think we bought out like four stores. This is all Can you pull you this out? Some more colors? It still works with that stuff too. Leave a stick in there, press against the edge. I went over this in a pro tip, but if you do that, it, it takes everything out. So you have a clean surface. And if you mix properly, you won't have any sticky spots on your edges. It'll come out evenly. So that's a good test to see if you're mixing right. If you, if you have sticky spots still, then you need to mix longer. Here's the circus. Are we, are we going to do like a, a, uh, <coughs> I almost feel like that's too many. Are we going to do lines? Are we going to do craziness? I feel like that's too many. Um, I don't know. If you want to make a storm, then you do them in 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 the color. Well, you like metallics, I thought. So that's metallic. Take this one away. So now you have two, only two metallics, one ink, and three craft paints. Okay. Oh. Okay. And a spray paint. Tell them about the tip. Well, we've been taping stuff off. Like people tape stuff off. They'll tape from down, from the top down, and tape it off, and then put their their cover paper over that, so that whatever drips, it covers. 
But the problem with that is you have to take your tape off this, this tape because you don't want the, the resin to stick to the tape. So then therefore you're taking all of this tape off, all your paper is basically wasting paper and tape. So I, I thought, why don't I tape below it, tape it off, then tape this part off so that when the resin comes over it, it's dripping, 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 you can wipe that and then take, take that tape off so this stays. You have a clean edge and you save the yes, product. Yes, to get a clean edge and yeah. Good, brilliant. If that makes sense. I'm sure it does. Cliff notes, you want to tape your edges obviously because that would be a long drip and I don't want to put all that resin over there. So to protect your edge, you have to tape it off obviously. And then two hours in, after you've done your the top of it, you're gonna to wanna to take this off so that it leaves a clean edge and you're not gonna have to sand it and the tape will come off easiest and it'll melt into itself. But you don't wanna take it all off in case you wanna do a, a top coat so you're not wasting your product. Mask this first and then do this part so you can take that off and save the rest. I don't think we did and you're brilliant. Also, he folds his tape so that he knows where it's at. Gives it a little tab to hold on to so he can find it and pull it off easier. If you work masking tape long enough, it'll bend any surface. Because I didn't know masking tape stretches. No, not a lot. Here, don't get false information. But you told me it bends. There's some that bend that you do patterns with. It's not like... I thought that's why we work it into creases and stuff. Fail. Action. No, and it's zoomed in, so you're... Ah, you're double sleeping. fail. Action. You dry your head? I, I hope so. Alright, so we pour this into here. Pour part B into part A. Part B. Follow it in there that it comes out that you can. And then you're supposed to stir it in there till it like looks combined. And then you're supposed to pour it into another apparatus and stir it in there till it's combined. And you know, we didn't really have a setup issue on the last one, so I feel like we have a good amount of working time with this. Well, it's just funny because you stir it into it and it looks like it's already mixed. Uh -huh. There's no swirl lines. Set a timer. If it's 30 minutes. Well, see, I love seeing that. That's, that's low end. Once it's 30 minutes, should I set it for 45? This is the blue they sent us. I don't know if you can see that, if it focuses or not. Hold on. Hold up there. Look at that, dudes. 
All the dudes. He's a dude. She's a dude. Ain't nobody that watches our channel will remember Good Burger. If you do, comment below. Chinchilla and Chalamanda. No. Not my own. When you're using a resin that's thin or your regular resin that's thicker and you thin it out with water and do that whole trick, um, make sure you mix your pigments in really well because it's no fun picking out chunks of paint. I'm sorry, putting... What? When you have a thinner resin, you have to mix your pigments in. Water. This is this one? Or did you use it tomorrow? It's so crazy how thin it is. Mm -hmm. This has got to be one of my favorite other pigment powders. This green duo, blue green duo. I tell you, it doesn't smell good. So laying down a layer of clear just allows your color pigments to flow more easily because it'll kind of feel like it's sticking to the table if you don't have just a thin base down. And it, and it kind of blends, let it blend a little bit. Look at it. Mm -hmm. That's what I love. I love it that you can splatter it like that. I can't wait to do my splatter. What is that one? Blue with the straight blue. Oh, I didn't tell the people the colors. I'll link them in the description below. I just like how it's like light over dark look. the level on it. Okay. You want to... oh, if it's going to flow, it's going to... This is awesome. I want, it, I want all of it to go over the whole edge. I don't want any of it. Maybe you just blew it more. That it's you know what I mean. It's definitely moving. You want to put something under it? Do you want me to add any heat to it, or are you good with? I think I want to. This is beautiful. I think I want to tilt it. Like. 
Okay. Other well, like all the vegetables. I got all of it. Do you want to keep and tilt it or just regular? Yeah, just regular. Look at it all moving. That's kind of a good thing about this resin is it's so thin already that um it doesn't take much. Mm -hmm. I wish we had more of this deep blue color. Beautiful thing to see. This Maui is just a murder. Fucking resin on my fucking shoe. Here's this blue. Do you use blue bed? Yeah. It looks awesome. Tangle. Just have to let it like go out. Keep moving. Yeah. Now grip popsicle stick under it. This stuff stays. Now let's just add some heat to it. Now we had stayed liquid. Hey Siri, how much is left on the timer? It's running at eight minutes and 49 seconds. <laughs> you didn't know it would do that? No! Thanks Siri. Gorgeous. I really hope that stays. Look at that. We got so much paint left. I know. What? What are we going to do with it? It looks like a... Uh... Maybe we can top coat this lazy Susan because it's got holes in it. Top coat is what? The rest. Are you going to put all the rest of it on this? Because if so, that's fine. No, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh -huh. I mean, you can. I'm just trying to think ahead of what we're going to do. There's so much of this blue. Do you just add this? Yeah. I like it. Look at that. Look how it looks like it. it there's it's carved. Mm -hmm. It's starting to 
do, it's starting to blend. Maybe how it did on that other one. That Maui over like dark uh -huh. is just so bad. I wish we would just use dark blue and white. <laughs> it still looks fucking amazing. 